Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's fur video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10, 14 days for today's fur video. Day 10 will take us to the 11th of April and we'll be able to set up your map with the excellent affairs. You should have ensembles, make my track of weeks. Have a look at CFS V2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. Gets us into the end of April. I should get on that for you in a moment. Just say that first, a bit of sales at 6am UK weather forecast. And we've also uh, released the extended your Pin out as well, so check out those two bits. If you'd like to like, share, and subscribe on all today's videos and content. Show to everyone uh, for doing that. I'm gonna say hello, and thank you so much to, for your super thanks to uh, my good friend MK. Hello, MK, and uh, thank you uh, so much for your super thanks on yesterday's 10 to 14 day and the lovely comment uh, that uh, you left. Learned so much, and the videos are always great. Thank you so much, my friend. It's incredibly kind of you. And uh, MK asked for us to look at. Biggles Wade um, in the uh, ensembles part of the video, which is coming up very short in a couple of minutes. So uh, I wasn't sure where that was. So I did Google search and it's in mid, mid Bedfordshire, a uh, civil parish market town in mid Bedfordshire. So uh, there we go. I've, uh, that's the first time I've ever heard of uh, Biggles Wade. <laughs> but uh, I am going to look at that, MK, and um, thank you so much. To you, MK1973, for uh, the um, super thanks on yesterday's 10 to 14 day. If you'd like to give super thanks to uh, Gaz Weathers, you can find the thanks, but um, it'll either be along here occasionally, or more often it's behind the three little dots there. Um, they can't hide it away, which is quite uh, annoying. I'm not sure why they do that, <laughs> to be honest. Um, they don't hide away but promote, do they? But that's, well, that's where I would pay them to promote the video. So uh, I would rather have like the thanks there, the, the Promote behind the bum, but I suppose you should know their business, don't they? Anyway, uh, that's where the thanks button is. So, uh, if you want to give a super thanks to Gas, whether it's on any of the videos, can do that. Of course, you can super chat on the live streams as well. Thank you so much to our super thankers, super chatters, uh, channel members, and of course, PayPal donators as well. As you give us a donation, we will shout you out in the videos. Thank you so, so much, everyone, for uh, getting involved and helping to support myself and the channel. So much. So thank you so much, and special thank you so much to uh, MK1973. Right, let's start off with Blake's River app from EarthNoSchool.net. High pressure is in control, and give me a stand at sea over Scandinavia now, or to the east of the country anyway. And we're bringing the wind from an east sea direction. That's a, that has a bit of a chill trip, and it's a lovely day uh, again out there. And we've got these very nice warm conditions lasting uh, throughout the week as well. Central temperature is now confirmed at 7.9, so we didn't tick up to 8 degrees. We stayed at 7.9 yesterday, that's 2.3 degrees above 61 to 1990 average. So uh, turned into uh, a very, very mild March indeed. These are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for Biggles Wade <laughs> for the uh, next couple of weeks. The red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for Biggles Wade, starting off above average with the upper air temperature at the moment. They're going to be coming down a little bit in the next day, so as we pull in most of these winds, they're lifting up again, though, uh, towards the end of week. So overall, pretty uh, mild, if not quite warm, through to the weekend and even into uh, even through the weekend and uh, into next week, saying above average. With those up red temperatures. We do finish up with quite a lot of scatter bow later on. So uh, we start to see cooler ensembles down here. Uh, milder ensemble members are uh, up there. So quite a bit of scatter later on. But again, no, nothing definitive in terms of uh, things getting colder into the middle part of April. No definitive signal of like northern blocking and uh, northerly winds and whatnot. What not? Uh, emerging. Lots of dry weather to come uh, through the first 10 to 12 days of April as well. Possibly more unsettled around the middle part of the month. But of course, that is a long way off and uh, it's therefore unreliable. Lots of dry and warm, or mild anyway, uh, for the first 10 days of April, though. And we confirm that with the temperature anomaly for the next uh, five days, which is coming out uh, above every six to ten day temperature anomaly. Water average from the north, coming back a little bit closer to average uh, further south. And 10 to 14 day temperature anomaly is also uh, above average within the GEFS. Precipitation anomalies for the 
um, uh, for the next seven days. Yeah, the 78th of April coming out drier than normal. And the 8 to 14 day temperature normally, uh, temptation normally, I should say, is also drier than average too. Right, let's start game three. The chart data event. So it's our latest UK bet euro run. It's looking for midnight on Friday. High pressure, dominated weather. Bring the wind in from an easterly direction. We're high and dry. It should be pretty warm as well. Into weekend, it might sound a bit cooler as we start to drag the air in more from north of the east. But having said that, still lots of dry weather. And I think still probably quite pleasant. And into next week, those high pressure uh, conditions. The anticyclone continues all the way up to April the 8th. I can't again show the wind in from the east south east around that high pressure through the end we add into weekend as well high pressure high pressure high pressure and if i could have a pound for i say high pressure i'll be a big a rich man at the end of the video something counted up and then uh, uh <laughs> send it to me um, so that's how we end up anyway we've got high pressure uh, over the top I'll potentially bring lots of dry uh, weather there on the 8th of April and uh, we've got the KMA also uh, looking anti-cyclonic and high pressure dominated so um, the high pressure does have an attempt though uh, in about a week's time so like getting towards Greenland and Iceland uh, and trying to bat some cold air in from the east of the north. It does get to that more or less. So, that's a in between, but I think we are just about bringing some colder air in from the east there uh, by around the 12th, 13th of April. However, it looks like my other west, south, west winds are probably going to uh, come back. So, a bit inconclusive that we came in, but I think it is trying to uh, get things colder into the second week of April again. Let's have a GFS midnight run is looking. Again, we see that high pressure in control around Iceland and bringing loads of dry and fine weather with it throughout the week into weekend into next week. High pressure just goes on and on. And that gets us to day 10 and beyond it. Still dominated by high pressure. But cold air, air is digging in, digging into northern and northeastern parts of Europe. And eventually, we actually set high pressure door set up as a bit of a blocking feature around ice and grit and start to pull in something a bit colder from the uh, east and from the northeast. So turning colder and a little bit more showery, a little bit more unsettled as well as we approach mid-month on the GFS midnight. But I mean, it's not overly unsettled. We're not talking about uh, depths of winter. It's not overly cold. It's not overly wet. Probably not much of snow. Um, but gradually it is turning a bit colder there through the second week of uh, April into the middle of month. That actually gets 17th of April today, GFS. And um, I've got a bit of a block around Greenland there. And we're pulling in some pretty chilly air, at the very least, I think, from the north. Well, but GFS 6 uh, by comparison, it's looking like this. So, once more, high pressure is dominating the weather throughout the week into the weekend as well. It's all high pressure, high pressure, high pressure to the middle of next week. High pressure remains in control and all the way up to uh, day 10. Guess it's a Friday the 11th of April. Again, we have that high pressure in the ascendancy. Now, just beyond that, high pressure starts to uh, shift up towards Scandinavia and we begin to pull in a little bit more of an east type flow. So, um, no northerly, no northerly northeast, it's not as cold as the GFS 6 at midnight run. However, by the very end of it, it looks like we're about to drop down uh, a northerly. So, a bit of a change there on the GFS 6 z telling us that again, uh, for the second week of April, up to the middle of the month and into the second half of the month, there's still quite a bit of uncertainty in the GFS operations and ensembles. Well, if you enjoyed the video, please you like, share, and subscribe. Thanks so much for everyone for doing that. And where drop a comment next day, I think about this and all of my videos and content. Don't forget to tell friends about Gauss Weather's Get to subscribe to Show Show Word for doing that. And if you could cons uh, consider giving a little donation, Gauss Weather's either through the Super Banks or through our PayPal page, links in the description uh, with the video, uh, then that'd be absolutely awesome. It helps pay for the channel, it helps me to be able to do content. It's quite time of year, so we don't earn that much on our revenue at this time of year. So it would be helpful if you could give us a donation. Thank you, thanks so much everyone for doing that. We will We'll give you a shout out in the vids if you want one. Thank you so much. Right, GM, again, with high pressure in control to the north of Scotland on Friday. Lots of southerly southeast winds should bring uh, probably peak temperatures on Friday. Might reach 21 degrees. Turns a bit cooler if the wind's slightly more north of east uh, as we go through into the weekend. But having said that, still very pleasant. The most pleasant, dry, generally quite mild or warm conditions last into next week as well. Thanks, you've 
high pressure going into retrograde. So the gem is trying to drop in a normally. That looks like it could be a top attack response to the strap one. So just as I wrote it off yesterday, <laughs> and yesterday, 10 to 14 down, it was actually titled No Top of Attack Response to the Sun Trap One. Well, no, I did put in the ever present question mark. Just as a little get out of jail card, um, but uh, but no, uh, I just I've done that. It looks like the models today again are flirting, maybe with some northern blocking. So the gem does actually turn cold by the 11th of April. I mean, cold for April. It's all comparative, of course, but um, just turn quite chilly there by the 11th of April, day 10, and then finally the ECM. It looks like this winds coming coming in. From the east again as we go uh, through the weekend. So uh, on into next week, high pressure remains. <laughs> high pressure remains dominant uh, through day seven, eight, nine, ten. Day ten. That's uh, the eleventh of April. Yeah, but high pressure right over top of the country. One thousand and thirty-five millibars. Bring loads and loads of dry weather with it, and it's extended. What does it do? High pressure. It doesn't take it nor actually slips itself. So uh, we just stay at high pressure. Every fine and warm conditions up to 16th of April. Looks like low pressure going to try and attack from the Atlantic by that point, but uh, overall that is a pretty dry, well very dry and uh, quite warm ECM operational run. So this is a precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from Tomato.com. We won't dwell on this very long. Some showery bursts into southwest mode. Uh, towards the end of the week, but uh, not much going to come of that. And then uh, after that, well, high pressure, of course, is dominant. So um, all went to day 10. There's virtually no rain. This very dry spring continues. These are the October tables in the ECM on Sol today for day 10. We're going to slide it better times. It gets to be 11th of April. 16 members of the ECM on Sol with high pressure to the west, low pressure to the east, to the northeast, and winds are coming in from a northwesterly direction. So mostly dry, but could be chilly with that. 15 with high pressure again over the country, mostly dry again. 12, including the control and the operational run with a dominant high pressure. And uh, eight with high pressure again, somewhere to the north and to the northwest of the country. And then in two weeks, so it's all high pressure at day 10. In two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. Gets us to the 16th of April. Bit of a change. 21 members of the ECM ensembles have lower pressure to the north, the east, high pressure out to the west, maybe. So slightly more of a uh, showery, sort of southwesterly, westerly type flow with that, I guess. Uh, 16, low pressures up here, high pressure down there. Winds are set from the west. And then 14, with a low pressure to the east, high pressure a long way away from us. And that could be the most unsettled option, I think. Could be quite chilly as well, uh, although we don't see like a big high pressure there uh, over Greenland. Step SB2 finally, and then we're done. So these are 500 millibar high times broken down into weekly periods. The first week period will be taking us from the 1st to the 7th of April. No, the next week's the high pressure over country, mostly dry, with winds coming in uh, from the east. And the pretty warm temperatures too. Week 2 will be the uh, 8th through to the 14th of April. High pressure, it was green from Iceland, low pressure over Scandinavia. Winds again coming in. From the chilly north or north east red. It's probably a bit colder, actually, uh, in the uh, second week of the month. Week three <laughs> will be the 15th to the 21st of April. Plenty of high pressure just to the west. Of the country. Some sort of lower pressure to the north east. Um, bit of a strange anomaly, that one. And then week four rounds it all off. It will be the 22nd to the 28th of April. With high pressure again around Iceland and Greenland, low pressure is around Biscay and winds are coming in uh, from the uh, northeast of that. So again, that could be quite chilly and maybe a little bit more unsettled, especially so uh, for the south with that trough of low possibly threatening some rain. But it's four weeks away, so it's a very long way off. Right, we're done. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, subscribe. Thanks so much everyone for doing that. Why not drop a comment? Let's know. Talking about this and all of our videos and content. Don't forget to tell your friends about guys. Well, let's get to subscribe to the show, show everyone for doing that. Of course, we're just 
um, under three weeks away from Easter, uh, aren't we? So uh, we'll actually be uh, assigned Easter updates, probably over the weekend, possibly the beginning of next week. But Easter updates will be starting to get underway quite shortly now. And uh, those uh, weeks three, four periods will be uh, for the um, uh, CFS there. They, they do cover the Easter period as well, interestingly. So uh, that's something to put in your diary. Uh, Easter updates at Galsworth will be starting quite shortly now. Uh, but anyway, for today's video, that's all for now. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed again, give us a like. Thanks so much for doing that. If you could consider a little donation, that'd be awesome too. Tomorrow, we're going to 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. And uh, we'll have a check to day as well. Keep checking back to the channel for more. For this one, though, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.